When police recover stolen property, it's usually returned to its rightful owner, but a Kinston man says guns stolen from him three years ago are still being held as evidence. So that leads us to the question, why such a long wait? Frank, you've been digging into this. What happened to his guns? Well, Tyler, Jimmy Overton had two guns and a pellet gun that were stolen from his garage. The suspects were caught red handed, and that was in 2020 at the height of the COVID pandemic. Since then, he says he's tried repeatedly to get his guns back, but without any luck. So the I team began looking for answers. Jimmy Overton showed us where the thieves broke in. They came in and pried this cabinet open. A few hours later, Kinston police captured three suspects who crashed into a home while fleeing from police. I asked the policeman, he come up here, I said, if you want to take fingerprints, we have not been in there and touched anything. Overton says the officer told him there was no need for fingerprints. He said, we don't need it because we got the car down at the end of the street and your three guns are laying in the front seat up there. So you won't have no trouble getting them back. But three years later, Overton is still left wondering what happened to his guns. If they had stole my truck out here and used it, what would I do for a vehicle all this time? What's the difference possessing your vehicle and possessing a pistol? Is there a difference? Everything that we collect has to be uh, documented in, in bags. Major Brandon Turner with the Kinston Police Department showed us the area where evidence is brought in, processed, documented. Which is like smaller items, evidence of handguns, uh, drugs, and things like that. And placed in secure lockers. Since 2018, they've taken in and hold more than 8,000 items in evidence. Gun seizures are up 38% from this time last year. And since 2022, Kenston police have seized 475 firearms that have to be collected, tested, and maintained for court. He says in cases involving stolen guns, the DA's office requires they be held as evidence until the cases go to court. Firearms that didn't uh, require additional testing. You know, you got to do ballistics testing to make sure they weren't used in another crime. You have to uh, track down the original purchaser of the gun. But because of COVID, these three suspects, some of whom have been rearrested and charged in other similar crimes. So they have not in jail or anything. They out doing the same thing all over again. Are just now, three years later, going to court for the crimes against Mr. Overton. All court shut down. Lenore County Clerk of Court Mary Alfin says the COVID shutdown caused a backlog in cases and delays. As of now, the backlog is clearing up. We tried repeatedly to speak with someone in the district attorney's office about Mr. Overton's handguns, but did not hear back. We even went back after the wreck occurred and researched the vehicle. But we did learn from Major Turner that the DA's office has now agreed to release one of his guns, a Colt 45 target pistol like this one. He says it was the only gun ever recovered. We never recovered a 22. Mr. Overton is glad to finally be getting one of his guns back but still can't understand what happened to the other guns or why the wheels of justice have taken so long. You must be thinking this justice system's a little messed up. Well, it's, it's for the people that's committing the crimes is the one getting the justice. I say, well, what, what rights do I have? I'm a victim. Looks like I don't have any rights. Mr. Overton says as of today, he still hasn't received his gun or heard from police. Again, Major Turner said that officers only recovered one handgun at the scene and did find the pellet gun, but it was destroyed in the crash and fire. According to the clerk of court, one of the three suspects involved received a plea agreement. The cases against the other two suspects are still waiting to be heard. All right, and if you have a story you'd like for us to investigate, contact the I-Team by phone, text, or email with the details you see here on your screen.